Hey there, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today I'm going to walk you through my updated review for Oxygen. I did one a couple years ago, but now that I've had uh, basically four full years of using Oxygen under my belt, I thought it was time to give an updated opinion on Oxygen, walk you through some of my favorite features, give you my thoughts on whether it's right for you, and then also just show you on screen what it's like to work in it so you can get a sense for how Oxygen functions. Now, the screen portion in terms of using Oxygen won't be a proper tutorial. There's lots of stuff out there, including my course for that. So if you're interested, you can check out that stuff. But what we're going to cover today is essentially my Oxygen Builder review for 2021. So let's go ahead and get started. So my history prior to Oxygen was that I started off building WordPress websites in 2014 with essentially no coding knowledge except some very basic CSS and HTML. And so I quickly gravitated towards things like WP Bakery and Divi. I was trying to find a blend of flexibility and ease of use that would allow me to build the sites I needed but without writing any custom code. And of course, as you probably know, this is nearly impossible because you have to find some kind of sacrifice, whether that was in the speed of the site, functionality, time investment, or just the overall customization that you can get. Now in every other builder, I had to sacrifice different things depending on the project, which meant that I had a site that worked but it was either bloated, didn't look like I wanted it to, the functionality wasn't where I needed it to be, or something along those lines. With Oxygen, I've been able to have all of that with almost no sacrifice. My transition into Oxygen took place when a client came to me having a completed mock-up and said they wanted the site to look exactly like their mock-up. Now this design was pretty much impossible to do in something like WP Bakery, which was my primary builder at the time, so I went looking. I spent time in almost every major page builder you can name and eventually discovered Oxygen when it was way back in version 1.1. The flexibility of Oxygen even back then was incredible, but it was nothing like it is today in terms of usability. I started using Oxygen to build that site and it took me significantly longer than a typical site I would build at the time, but it did allow me to achieve that layout the client was after. I was a bit frustrated though with how long it took, so I eventually went back to WP Bakery for some time. After a while, a big focus area for me to grow my business was around creating custom designs and also providing sites that were as fast as I could get them for clients. When I started to look at the designs and the optimization of the sites I was building in WP Bakery or Divi, it was essentially as bad as it could get in terms of optimization and, if I'm honest, design. Add in that I was unable to convert the designs that I envisioned or that I had designers produce for me and I had a recipe that was leading me back to Oxygen. Now you're probably wondering, is Oxygen right for you? And the most common question I get asked is, do you need to know custom code to be able to use Oxygen? I'll answer that from my own personal perspective, which is that I came to Oxygen with almost no knowledge of anything related to CSS, HTML, PHP, or really any other programming language. I took one class in school and that was about it. About all I could do in CSS was extremely simple things like change text color or font weights, and that was about all I was equipped with, to be perfectly honest. But even without that knowledge, right off the bat in Oxygen, I was able to build sites that were more complex, more capable, and more consistent with the designs that I was working off of than ever before, not to mention much, much faster. As you start to garner some knowledge and build some confidence in Oxygen, you quickly realize that there are things that you want to be able to do that would be so much easier if you had even just a basic understanding of PHP and CSS. The beauty of this is that you can find a lot of working code examples online that you're able to implement in Oxygen with relative ease. So the question to me as to whether or not you need to know coding before using Oxygen comes down to whether or not you're willing to learn. As long as you're willing to at least try to take the time to figure it out and learn, you're going to be able to build bigger, faster, better sites than you ever thought possible, even with a relatively simple understanding of those previously mentioned languages. I still consider myself a relative newbie when it comes to coding, and I've been able to achieve some pretty incredible things over the last couple years. Whether you have an employee or use contractors, having somebody that you can access that actually knows the coding languages like PHP, CSS, and JavaScript inside and out will afford you some pretty incredible results on more or less every site that you build. For myself, my website design business is still quite small, but with Oxygen, I've been able to take on bigger sites than I could have ever dreamed of in years past, resulting in revenue increases year over year ever since I've started using Oxygen. When it comes down to the benefits of Oxygen, we've already touched on quite a few of the main ones from my perspective, and those come down to flexibility, customization, and speed. 
So each one of these we could talk about at length, but for me, the flexibility is probably the most important thing because I finally have complete control over every aspect of my site. No longer are you limited to what your theme will allow you to do. If you can envision it, then you can almost certainly achieve it in Oxygen. And because I'm certainly not a designer, I've had a proper designer create the layout and designs for almost every site that I work on for some time. Or, like I mentioned, clients come to me with completed mockups and we turn those into fully functional sites. That flexibility, thanks to Oxygen, is pretty much unmatched in any other builder. And if I weren't using Oxygen, I wouldn't be able to build the vast majority of the sites that we do build. When it comes to customization, that means, to me, the ability to build custom layouts or create custom functionality for your clients that allow them to modify elements of their site with relative ease. A really common example would be giving your clients the ability to add or edit team members on their site, add, edit, remove testimonials, or really any other frequently updated pieces of content like blog posts without them having to touch any builder whatsoever. They can use the familiar WordPress interface and Oxygen does all the heavy lifting of rendering the site on the front end based on the design you created. This flexibility extends even further when it comes to third-party plugins because you can set these plugins up in ways that otherwise would be completely impossible without building custom themes yourself. Lastly, I think the main reason why the vast majority of people move to Oxygen is for its speed. If you do a little bit of digging online, you'll find lots of comparisons between Oxygen and other page builders, and in every single case, Oxygen beats them out. This simply comes down to having a cleaner code output on the front end, which results in faster load times better page speed scores, and just a better overall user experience. So if you're someone that cares at all about SEO, I can't overstate the importance of clean code output enough. So we'll move into some of my favorite Oxygen features, and I'm gonna demonstrate some of these on screen here. So now we're gonna to touch on a few of my personal absolute favorites. So number one is the templates functionality, then comes classes and global colors, layout controls such as Flexbox and CSS Grid, the deep integration with advanced custom fields and conditions. Each one of these warrants their own post entirely, but I'll briefly touch on each one of them. In terms of templates, you can build a different kind of template for every page or post across your site, giving you complete flexibility as to how you configure your layouts. This means that you could essentially have one template that contains your header and footer, and then you have a second template that contains something like a sidebar for a blog that only appears if the post being viewed is a blog. In this example, on your pages or anything that's not a blog post, you wouldn't see that sidebar. A huge advantage here is that if you want to make a change to your blog sidebar, like change a photo or swap a link, you can go to one place and it reflects across your entire site instead of having to manually adjust each and every blog post. Another example where templates shine is the ability to create different kinds of templates for different kinds of content across your site. Earlier, we mentioned the ability for clients to add and edit things like testimonials or locations, which means you can have an Oxygen template that renders a layout for that particular kind of post that looks completely unique to anything else across your site. This means that you can have a layout that is meant for blog posts that's not shared with your locations or your team member post, giving you total flexibility as to how your layouts are set up. To take this even further, you can nest templates inside of each other, which is a somewhat advanced topic, but this gives you an almost unimaginable level of control and ease of use when it comes down to building your sites however complicated they are. The next feature I mentioned is classes. Classes behave essentially just like classes in CSS if you're familiar with those. What it gives you is the ability to apply an identifier to a particular element and reuse that on any element across your site. Let's say you wanna style a heading in a particular way. Instead of having to redo that styling on every heading, you simply add that same identifier, the same class, and anywhere that class exists, the styling will be replicated for you automatically. It gets even better than that because if you change the font size or color on a particular class, anywhere that class exists, that change will be replicated even if it's in a different template or a different page. This is incredibly powerful as you start to build a design system on your website, which will give you a better looking, more cohesive design. You can even take classes a step further by having stacked classes for variations like light and dark versions of headings or buttons. Classes can also apply to anything, whether it be images, buttons, headings, or any element across your entire site. So classes are a very powerful way to speed up your designs and make things look extremely consistent across your entire site. Global colors tie into classes nicely, but it's more or less a standalone feature. What global colors allow you to do is define a color palette on your site so that you're not having to manually attach hex or RGB colors on every element. 
If you decide you need to make an adjustment to one of your global colors, you can do so in the settings and then anywhere that global color applies, that color is updated for you automatically. Color adjustments for site-wide styles like backgrounds, hover colors, buttons, etc. are now able to be updated in one place. You won't have to update these manually one by one anymore, which is an absolutely massive time-saving feature. When it comes to layout controls, you have both the option to use Flexbox and the recently introduced CSS Grid feature in Oxygen. This gives you control to build layouts that are just simply otherwise impossible or extremely difficult to achieve in other builders. This particular topic warrants its own post entirely, but essentially it means that you can build any layout and create really comprehensive looking designs, such as things like magazine or newspaper websites, custom blog layouts, custom sales pages, and so on. Basically anything you want with enough practice, you can do. If you're not familiar with advanced custom fields, you certainly will be after you start using Oxygen. This allows you to create additional fields in the back end of your pages and posts for data that then Oxygen will automatically pull into the front end for you. We've already mentioned the example of adding things like locations to the back end, and you would typically add extra ACF fields for things like location, hours, phone number, etc., and Oxygen will pull those into your template for you. This gives your clients or other non-technical users the ability to update important information without touching any builder or any code thanks to Oxygen templates and their deep integration with ACF. I think my personal favorite feature when it comes to advanced custom fields is the repeater component, which allows you to build dynamic lists that enable you to create data like FAQs, restaurant menus, and much more. Again, these are all editable in the back end for easy client updates. There are a number of videos on my channel here that cover repeaters, so take a look at them because the possibilities when it comes to repeaters are essentially endless. Lastly, I mentioned conditions as a favorite feature, which allow you to do things such as show and hide elements based on a number of different factors, like what page they're viewing, whether the current user is logged in or not, what category they're viewing, day of the week, and much, much more. If you want to be able to show a login button when the user is logged out and do the inverse if they're logged in, you can do that with the built-in conditions with no coding required. That's a very simplistic example, but there is extreme power hidden in the conditions. You can even custom code your own conditions with some PHP knowledge. So this means that if you have something like a membership site, you can show and hide content based on people's membership levels, for instance. Now, I don't want to make you think that everything in Oxygen is all champagne and roses because there are some definite challenges for you to consider. The main thing is the learning curve that it will take you to get reasonably comfortable with Oxygen, which in my opinion is worth it because in the long run, you'll be able to do so much more with it. You definitely will need to spend some time learning it, so I typically recommend that people start with a low priority website and build up from there. In my business, every single site that we build is now in Oxygen, but that took us well over a year to transition to that point. In terms of flattening that learning curve, I offer a full Oxygen course called Ultimate Oxygen Course, which you can help jumpstart your learning with Oxygen, and you can find that link in the description below. The other thing to consider is styling might be more difficult for some third-party plugins because typical themes come with CSS styles for things like form plugins right out of the box. Keep in mind though, I already mentioned you can find those code examples online, so you can find lots of CSS styling that you just paste into your Oxygen site to get great looking styles quickly with no coding required. You can also take advantage of design sets in Oxygen which allow you to import other users' designs or save your own to be reused on any site. Typically people build a design system as their base design set and import that on every new install to speed up your workflow. Oxygen also has a number of design sets included and there are third party design sets that can speed up your building process. The main one I recommend is called Oxy Ninja, which is of course a paid third party design set. I already mentioned the learning curve, which is kind of connected to my final point here in the time investment it will take you to get good at Oxygen. To me, the time investment is well worth it because of the power and flexibility that you gain, which means you can build more complex sites more easily. This time spent is absolutely an investment, which for me is translated into more revenue than I could have ever dreamed of thanks to Oxygen. Now we've covered the trade-offs, but more importantly are the results and the rewards of what you'll get for those trade-offs. I've already mentioned a number of times that it's simply the most capable WordPress builder out there. You'll end up with faster sites that are as flexible as you need them to be. And really the only limitation is your own design skills 
and whether or not you have a bit of proficiency in custom code. But like I've already mentioned, I have brought in experts in those areas to help produce the best possible result. And those people are extremely accessible now with sites like Upwork or really any other high quality freelancer marketplace. The other big benefit, like I already mentioned, is if you're willing to learn the code, you will get significantly better at it in a very short period of time. I still have a long way to go when it comes to learning code and becoming proficient in it, but I can do infinitely more than I could before I started using Oxygen. In addition to that, the Oxygen community is growing rapidly and is very helpful. There's tons of great resources with people making tutorial content, and there's a healthy ecosystem of third-party add-ons as well as the social channels like Facebook and Discord, which are very popular and also very helpful. So if you haven't already gathered, I'm a huge advocate of Oxygen, and this is not a sponsored video for the record. I just believe that it's the best WordPress page builder out there, and it will just help transform your business and get you to a point where you can build more powerful websites more quickly and in turn be able to charge more for that. So if you're ready to get started, consider starting with a staging environment of your own site or a more simple client website that doesn't have a lot of complexity to it. I also already mentioned the ultimate oxygen course that I offer, and I have a lot of free oxygen builder tutorials on the website. There's also a ton of other resources out there like the oxygen YouTube channel and their official documentation. There's a number of other great content creators on YouTube, as well as sites like WPDevDesign.com, which has an amazing plethora of tutorials, both premium and free, that will help you take your sites to the next level. I hope this has been helpful for you and would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a future video.